yo so those air jordan 6 hairs actually did more than what i expected they did better than what i expected man they sold out super super fast on the nike sneakers app which i was not expecting at all and then i heard like on finish line foot locker and stuff like that you got to keep spamming the add to cart on there just to get them man so and if you can check on StockX right now and they're going for like a little bit of money man but if you're new to the channel right now what i need you guys to do is subscribe right now your notification bell for your boy you know what i'm saying let's get to that 40k y'all spam that like button right now y'all spam the comment section with some w's down below if you hit if you end up taking the l like a lot of people did um drop an l in the chat man i'm very interested in knowing and then we can talk about some of the stuff we can do to get this shoe later on down the line i definitely see this shoe doing a lot of restocks and stuff like that uh, and i usually post most of those restocks and stuff on my instagram so if you're not following me over on instagram man make sure you follow me right now at the vintage world it'll be linked down below in the description box uh because I, i'm i'm really i'm really intrigued on how these sixes did today uh you know usually with like a six or a seven or something like that and especially not it being an og colorway for it to you know sit and for it to go on sale after a while but with most of these shoes since quarantine started i haven't seen a lot of stuff sitting you guys let me know down below what you have seen sit down i, I don't know i don't know what has been sitting like Everything that has been coming out, I feel like has been selling out. Um, Cause you know, like Foot Locker and stuff like that, ain't nothing sitting in Foot Locker as far as releases that, you know, everybody, I guess you say, quote unquote, want. They send it back to the warehouse to put on the website. So that's where you see all those restocks. You know, I didn't know that until I picked up the Air Drone 13 Flints. Cause usually you can go back in line and wait for a couple pairs, you know, with people that didn't reserve their pair. Uh, but they gave you like a whole week to pick this shoe up after you was confirmed to get the shoe to, when they give you the w uh but if you didn't pick them up they send them straight back to the site uh to the warehouse and they release them on the site doing these restocks so if you didn't know why you see all these restocks and stuff like that that is why uh but these air Jordan six hairs I, I didn't expect it you know we might see a lot of restocks but i'm judging off the air Jordan six dmps those things kept restocking and they even restocking now today like it was a restock today this morning i'm like Bro, why are you still doing restocks on the Air Jordan 6 DMPs? Uh, we might keep seeing restocks on those. Who, who knows, bro? Uh, but these hairs definitely caught me by surprise. Uh, we are on the way to pick these hairs up from Shoe Palace. I hit a Shoe Palace. Uh, usually I hit on Foot Locker, but I did not confirm the shoe. I was super mad. Usually I go on there about five o'clock, but I just forgot. I really just forgot because there I can use my military discount and I can get some points, you know, for those extra, you know, three head starts and stuff like that i wasted three head starts on these air Jordan six hairs so hopefully i hit on the air Jordan five top threes which we will be talking about a little bit later on in the week uh to see how we think that was gonna do i think those gonna do better than the air Jordan six hairs I, I like that shoe a lot more than the hair sixes they got all three og colorways on there you know what i'm saying they got the grapes you got the metallics and you got like the fire red hits and stuff like that definitely a shoe i see selling out faster than the air Jordan six hairs faster than dmp sixes and faster than maybe a lot of these non og colorways that we have seen get released in these last couple weeks but like i said i'm on the way up there now to pick up the hairs uh, we're gonna do a little quick recap on these air Jordan six hairs and i want to do a comparison between the air jordan seven hairs me i was talking to my boys i'm like bro i don't think i want to keep this shoe because i have the hair sevens like the originals you feel me and if it was between the two on which one i would cop it would definitely be the hair sevens because you know that's the first one to come out it's the first hair and um these sixes is just like you know a little mockery a little spin off of those shoes so i'm not a big fan but we might get them in hand it might change my opinion all the way you guys are gonna rock with me today you're gonna ride with me two shoe palettes so i can pick them up i'm gonna head back to the crib and do a quick recap like i said over these air six hairs subscribe right now if you ain't subscribed bring notification bell for your boy so you never miss another video live stream or anything that drops on the channel and make sure you head over to ig give a boy a follow with the vintage world uh so yeah let's sit up here and get these air six hairs man let's get it
All right, guys, we are back at the crib, man. We got the Air Jordan 6 hairs today. As you've seen in the pickup vlog, before we get into shoe, I just want to touch up on how they sold out on Sneakers app. They sold out on most other foot sites. You might see a couple of sizes flowing here and there, but for the most part, we've seen these things fly off the shelf. And I did not expect that at all for these Air Jordan 6 hairs. I thought it would be easily, you know, the Hair 7s would be the best hair to release of all time. Uh, but I wanted to live stream this morning after I picked up a pair and I asked the chat I was like y'all like the sixes or y'all like the sevens more and I've seen a lot of people comment that they like the sixes a lot more than the sevens I guess a lot of people don't really like the sevens in general the seven silhouette so the sixes was an easy pick for them for the hairs man but for me the hair sevens by far are the best hairs to release you got to put it in perspective that the hair sevens is one of the best seven colorways to ever release but when you think about the hair sixes I cannot even put that in the top five maybe even top 10 sixes to ever release man so for me the hair sevens by far are better than the hair sixes so let's go ahead and get into these things right now check them out check them out here we have them air jordan six hairs you guys let me know down below in the comment section if you went and grabbed this pair i don't know if you took an l uh like i said on the live stream this morning i've seen a lot of people say take an l on the sneakers app so for me i don't even try to go on sneakers app at this point foot locker always is clutch for a lot of people that come to the stream and they always tell me they spam ads a cart and they eventually get through but lately since we've been in quarantine and stuff like that most of these shoes have been going fast man it's been a high demand on most of the shoes that we have been getting and I was asking people like, bro, when's the last sneaker that we have seen as far as Jordan brand sit? And I was like, bro, I don't remember any shoes sitting. And the only shoe that you might consider sitting is the Air Jordan 6 DMPs, but it was a lot of restocks on them joints. They just kept restocking, kept restocking. And I just started seeing them float around my local mall. I seen a couple of DMP 6s here, a couple of DMP 6s there, but it's all the big sizes, like size 13, size 12 and stuff like that. You don't see like a size nine, eight and stuff. So I was thinking that the Air Jordan 6 was gonna do the same thing, but boy, was I wrong. These things sold out unexpectedly for me. I did not see these things doing that, hey, but they did. So right now in the comment section, let me know if you grab these. But like I said, since I have the Air Jordan 7 hairs, I don't think that these are a necessity, a need in the collection, man. But let's check the box out real quick. I'm gonna do the review and on feed tomorrow. So you guys stay tuned for that by hitting the notification bell for your boy. And right now, if you're watching, man, smash that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Uh, let's check out the box real quick. Got the carrot on top. Got the black jump man down here. Official colorway is neutral gray, black and white. And he's retail for 190 bucks, man. Check it out right there. Got the little pull tab right here. Open it up. And of course you get kind of the same presentation as you got with the Air Jordan 7 2.0s. But check it out guys, you have the Air Jordan 7 hairs. And of course tomorrow the comparison will be between these hair 7s and the Air Jordan 6 hairs. Uh, right now down below, I know I already asked most of the Vintage Squad the question, do you like the Air Jordan 7 hairs more or the Air Jordan 6 hairs? Let me know down below in the comment section right now. Let's get some engagement. Let's get some conversation down below in the comment section. These hair sevens was a must in the collection. I actually went back and got these on the resale market. I wore these a lot, as you can see. Got a lot of wears out of them. Uh, I wish they would have just restocked these, you know what I'm saying, re-retro these joints, uh, but they didn't. So I guess you could say that these hair sixes for a lot of people was a must grab because we might not get these hair sevens re-released for another couple of years, man. But yeah, not a bad looking shoe. Uh, like I said, I'm feeling the hair sevens a lot more. I want those to come back out. Like I said, let me know down below in the comment section if you grab these. I will be dropping a review and on feet tomorrow so have the notification bell on right now and subscribe if you have not subscribed already to the channel i know that on feed is gonna be super fire you guys stay tuned for that i'm telling you guys it's gonna be nice it's gonna be nice and i want you guys to know tonight i will be going live on my second channel i will link it down below go subscribe over there come through the live stream tonight we're gonna have a good time have a lot of different discussions open you do not want to miss it man so go down below hit the link and subscribe to my second channel right now on StockX, these things is going for around 250 bucks in most sizes the smaller sizes of what I'm seeing is a trend, and most of the small sizes are going for like $300 plus. I think I've seen like a size six is going for like $500. I was like, whoa, that's, that's, that's outrageous, you know what I'm saying? But here you have it, the size nine is going for around 250 bucks. And people are saying that these might go up in price. Who knows nowadays with these resale prices during times like this. I appreciate everybody for tuning into this pickup vlog and this quick little recap of the release. I know a lot of people were not expecting these to sell out, but they did. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Your notification bell for your boy so you never miss another video that drops on the channel. Smash the like button to go for every video is 300 likes. You guys already know how we do. And head over to IG, give your boy a follow at DaVinci's World. It'll be linked down below 
in the description box. So with all that being said, I'm gonna catch you guys in tonight's live stream on my second channel, which is linked down below. Peace.